in this video i'm going to cover something very important when you add site contact to your pages now site contact is designed to work from your web page so there will be something like this this is the chat box plugin and people can opt in by clicking on a button and the chat box will be displayed with the sign in user's name but to make that happen to put it on the page you need to do a couple of steps the first thing you need to do is whitelist your domain so whatever page you're connecting that domain to for example let's say we're connecting something to uh, this page latest recipes you go and click on whitelist your domain and then you need to put in the website URL where you want this to appear, right? So for example, if it is myrecipes.com, it should be like this. Then click on add domain and the domain will be whitelisted. You will see the list of your whitelisted domains right over here. And if a domain is not whitelisted, then this plugin will not show on that, that domain because whitelisting is Facebook's way of keeping the security. If a domain is whitelisted, Facebook considers that you actually want your plugin to render there and only will display your plugin when you whitelist a domain. So make sure you whitelist the domain. Then you can do the second step of getting the code and implementing it on the website. To do that, click on get code and you will see some options. You can select the style of the button. You can select the button size and you will see a preview right over here, whatever you want to use you can use and then you will see the plugin code over here copy the plugin code put it right at the place where you want the button to appear and the plugin will render your button right at that point one more thing we've got the checkbox plugin which requires one more step so again select the domain that you want to write that you want it to work for and your code will be displayed over here copy the code and again put it right at the place where you want your button to appear so it should be if you're using an opt-in form it should be right above the submit button then there's another but another code over here js code to insert on the button this code has to be placed on the submit button of your opt-in code form now this checkbox plugin is made to be used with your existing opt-in forms and you can use it on your existing forms where you're collecting your email addresses and names of your leads and you can just opt them in Facebook as well by implementing this code. So you will need to put this code, as I said earlier, exactly where you want the checkbox to appear. And this code has to be implemented on the submit button. Let me show you some sample code. So here's an example submit form code cut down to the bare minimum. You might have more, but at the end of the code, you will always find something like this. Input type is called to submit. Value is called to submit or whatever opt-in text you might have. And you have to assign this code, you have to paste this code on the on click function. So or you will write on click window dot confirm opt in, just copy it and paste it over here. So basically, basically what happens is you need to put window dot confirm opt in function on the on click event of your submit button. So keep this text in mind, put it on the submit button, the button that people click to opt in finally and your chat box plugin will be totally working. How do you know it's working? People will get an opt-in message as soon as they sign up.